Welcome to Nugget 348 with Steve and Dana Groman. We are continuing with our fun visit to the Ohio State House in Columbus, Ohio. If you haven't watched Nugget 347, the introduction to the State House Fossil Nugget series, we encourage you to do that. Back to the Ohio State House. Crown Point Limestone. This late Ordovician, about 459 million years ago, black to gray limestone from Vermont is used in the capital as floor tile. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? It was created at Noah's Flood and has nothing to do with late Ordovician. It has nothing to do with 459 million years ago because... Well, there wasn't any 459 million years ago, right? Well, no. Well, you told me there wasn't. The Bible tells me there wasn't. And so exactly there wasn't. Right. White crystals of the mineral calcite in the Crown Point fossils contrast with the dark limestone matrix. The Crown Point limestone was deposited in a warm, here we go, warm, shallow, sunlit sea along the eastern margin of North America. During the Ordovician period, present-day Vermont was south of Earth's equator in tropical to subtropical latitudes. I don't think so. It's the exact same thing <laughs> they said about the Columbus. They've got to yeah, move. they got to move around. The continents around to make make their story fit. Without any evidence. True. Crown Point limestone from Vermont was used for the black floor tiles in the state house rotunda. Other rotunda floor tiles are composed of red breccia from an unknown source and marbles from various localities. Italy, white, Portugal pink, Tennessee red, and Vermont green. It's beautiful. This was one of the most beautiful rooms and they were setting up for a function and we weren't able to get a picture of that part of it because they had tables all in the way. They were going to have a wedding there and setting up for the reception, right? Yes. And he had talked about kind of some funny stories about pre-wedding encounters with some people and all that. But you things can... like uh, things like where did Vermont go, Bob? Where did Vermont go? What does that have to do? With it used to be on the equator. They were having their party then. <laughs> Back to the Columbus limestone fossils. A crinoid columnal, an individual stem piece in Columbus limestone. Note the void in the center, which is shaped like a five-rayed star with rounded points. Although complete, inchnoderms, including crinoids, have not yet been discovered at the capital. They're certainly designed, huh? Five-point star in the middle? Absolutely, they're designed. These marine invertebrate animals, such as corals, inchnoderms, brachiopods, bryozoans, calcareous sponges, mollusks, and arthropods. Vertebrates in the in the form of fish fossils are fairly common, but mostly as skeletal fragments, scales, and teeth. These are especially abundant and concentrated within a few layers that paleontologists call bone beds. Feeding burrows produced by an unknown type of animal preserved in an exterior wall of the state house. In places such as at the top right of this photo, state house caretakers have filled exposed burrows with grout to reinforce the facing. We saw a lot of this style of, mm-hmm. of those burrows, and we've been to agate fossil beds out in Nebraska and they talk about these fossil burrows. I'm, I'm not sure about it, but whatever. There are snout shells. They call it a class of mollusk. We just say it's a kind of mollusk. There are sea snails in a variety of forms. And some of these fossils in the walls are just so clear. Some of them are real good. Cephalopods, which is Greek for head and foot, are a class of marine mollusks that include modern squids, octopuses, cuttlefish, and nautiluses, as well as extinct forms such as ammonites. We all know that they were all created at the same time in six days. Absolutely. We have found tons of brachiopods, especially in Texas, just tons of limestone. Bucket loads of them. Yeah, literally bucket loads. Literally. And there are those in the walls. They say that brachiopod shells are common, easily recognized fossils within the Columbus limestone. There was one sad thing I found when I was taking pictures of these fossils. Do you remember what it was? Somebody wrote on it? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Drew, D-R-E-W, Drew and scratched on that fossil. Shame on you, Drew. I'm glad not everybody does that. Correct. It's just not right. It's just not right. If you want to learn more about the true history of this earth and the flood, we have a complete series. And some of the specific ones that would be directed at these topics are Lesson 2, Bible or Billions, Lesson 4, After the Flood, and Lesson 9, Rock Solid Proof. As you can see in these pictures, it all just screams of a catastrophe. Absolutely. It shows evidence of Noah's flood. Absolutely. Everything has to because Mm -hmm. it was a worldwide flood. If you appreciate our content, tell others and repost on your social platforms. Tell others about our YouTube channel, Steve Groman. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when we post new nuggets and Saturday travel and history tips. Thank you.